Second, that, that I'm going to infiltrate you with humans. Well, you've got good protections against that. You know, we don't have spies. So what do I do? Hmm. I'm going to go in and I'm going to change your model. I'm going to modify it. Mm. I'm going to actually screw you up to get me so I'm one day ahead of you. And you're so good, I can't do that. What's my next choice? Bomb your data center. Wow. Now, do you think I'm insane? These conversations are occurring around nuclear opponents today in our world. There are legitimate people saying the only solution to this problem is preemption. Now, I just told you that you, Mr. Good, are about to have the keys to control the entire world, both in terms of economic dominance, innovation, surveillance, whatever it is that you care about. I have to prevent that. We don't have any language in our society. The foreign policy people have not thought about this, and this is coming. When is it coming? Probably five years. We have time. We have time for this conversation, and this is really important. Let me push on this a little bit. So if this is true and we can end up in this sort of standoff scenario and sort of the equivalent of mutually assured destruction, you've also said that the U.S. should embrace open source AI, even after China's deep seek showed what's possible with a fraction of the compute. But doesn't open sourcing these models just like hand capabilities to adversaries that will accelerate their own timelines? This is one of the wickedest, or we call them wicked hard problems 